Stand by for blast off. A new space vehicle, the Nebula 75, has just gone into orbit. But not everything is as it seems. The stars of this production, Commander Neptune, Circuit, Doctor Asteroid, and mysterious space maiden Athena, are not flesh and blood, but marionettes brought to life through painstaking artistry. And that's not the only unusual thing about this production. The company behind this new venture are Century 21 Films. The coronavirus pandemic of 2020 and resulting lockdown restrictions have meant a grand departure from their traditional filmmaking techniques. Gone are the comfortable surroundings of their elegant and luxurious warehouse in Slough to be replaced with a central London studio. Flat. The Century 21 team boasts a filming crew of over two. Between them, they have to photograph, light, and puppeteer the marionettes, as well as build their surroundings. But even in these difficult times, this film unit receives outside help. 400 miles north, in the beautiful surroundings of Preston, the real star of the show, the intergalactic spaceship the Nebula 75, takes shape. And, after many days of careful construction, the vehicle is ready to be packed and shipped to London before going in front of the cameras. Carefully delivered by the friendly neighborhood postman, only a few minor repairs are needed to make the craft screen ready. At 75 pence per episode, Nebula 75 is currently the most expensive dramatic series in production in the country. But even with a lavish budget, it takes time, skill, and patience to get it all right. Pretty good. In the first episode, the Nebula 75 is flung to the far corners of space. Here, they will encounter many new forms of life. But are they friend or foe? Who is beautiful space maiden Athena? Will the Nebula 75 ever return home? We can't tell you, but just ask the bloke upstairs and he'll be able to fill you in. Ah, uh, keep it down!